Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea. Okay, if you like it, what you see it, okay, please go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Okay, do not be afraid to come through the building, girl, hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading from me, girl, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, girl, dftarot at Cash App or PayPal. Also, if you would like to build fellowship with us over on the dark feminine side of things, go ahead and get into that Patreon, girl, which is in the link below this video, y'all, in the description box. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Girl, listen, I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're about to see what's tea ships okay six of swords energy um somebody is going somewhere being taken somewhere etc etc okay we see honeymoon baby we see family room boo boo oh, okay okay finances and career we see marriage oh we see past life relationship and we see reconciliation okay well there it is Okay, there it is. Um, let's just let's just take a look around and see what's what's to it. Um, this relationship we see coming through the gate with six of swords energy. Six of swords energy tells us there has been a shift, there has been a change, something has shifted and changed in this relationship, and that is affecting the direction that it is going in. It's going in a new direction, the winds are blowing it somewhere else. Um Something new is going on with this relationship. And we want to see what, girl. Okay, we want to see what's going on. We see the Ace of Swords, okay? This relationship shifted and started going in a different direction when the truth came out, okay? Some truth came out. And the truth cut through to someone's heart. Whatever truth this man gave you, it touched your heart. It hit your heart in a sweet place. Okay, it really put you into a different space when it came to him. You learned something about him that maybe you did not know. He told you something that you did not know, specifically about you. Because this man is a... He had a lot of women, okay? I ain't even send you off. And he's had a lot of different types of women. This man has come to you and said, you know what? Yeah, but I've never quite had a woman like you. This is the truth that he was willing to reveal. And it really did hit you. It was a truth about the past. So this may have been a masculine that you believed, you know, you're not feeling me like that. You really didn't like me like that. And he's letting you know, hey, to be honest with you, I liked you like that all the time. Okay. So this is one that Spirit said came to you with a revelation. Okay, there's a revelation, and this revelation is what took y'all's relationship into a new place, into this honeymoon phase, okay, where you're finally realizing, finally realized from his basically confession, okay, this man came to you with a confession, okay, and that confession is what lets you know what his real truth was, okay, and this is what moved y'all towards the honeymoon season, was the point in the game where this man poured, poured out all of his emotions to you, Ace of Cups energy, this man spoke to you in depth, um, this man spoke to you gently and delicately and really truthfully, um, I'm hearing even may have spoken softly, this is something that you did not expect, this is something that you did not see coming, for some of you all, this is what is coming, it is in regards to a past life relationship, and a reconciliation from a previous relationship. Y'all, don't get mad at me. It's right there, okay? Because y'all will say, I don't want nobody from my past. Listen, then, then this ain't your reading, girl, because there it is right there, okay? This is the direction that spirit is leading us into. This is what is going out into the, co into the collective today, okay? This man pours out all of his truth to you and his emotions. And this is the point where you begin to feel like his star. This is a man who is deciding to and letting you know that you are to be his number one. He wants you to be his number one star. And I see you eating this up, girl. This is somebody that's going to love and appreciate being named this man's star, okay? This, by it being a past life relationship and a reconciled relationship, Okay, it's highly possible and probable this could be a childhood relationship reconciled and you are taking pride, okay, teens, you know, younger, a different phase of life, okay, a previous phase of life and you are taking pride in the fact that this masculine is saying, listen, you know, you really mean something to me, okay, this is something that's really special, what we have is really special, who you are to me is very special, okay, ten of pentacles in reverse, 
Family room in the upright, but the Ten of Pentacles comes through in reverse. Something you need to know about this man is this man did not come from the type of family that he wants, okay? Sometimes people want the Huxtables, girl, but they came from, uh, girl, y'all remember Penny and her mama that lived downstairs from Florida Evans and them, honey, okay? If you got it, you got it. Some of them, girl, y'all, they was giving Penny them downstairs, okay? And they want to be a Huxtable, but they don't know how to do that. Okay, so that's a lot of the energy that we're getting here. Um, so that's something for you to know, just for you to know. This man is not, though he's coming to you wanting this kind of Ten of Pentacles energy, this man doesn't know anything about being that standard of a family. He didn't come from that type of legacy, but he does want it, okay? But he's never had that previously before. So you may have to pour into him a bit, okay? You may have to help him kind of find some level of stability, in that because it's just not what he knows it's just not what he's used to okay nine of swords in reverse this man is coming to you saying that he wants to get into a finance and career situation with you because this man is like i want solid he doesn't want something that's backwards he doesn't want something that's bogus nine of swords coming through in reverse he's he this is a man that will be willing to start a business with you um what kind of business okay this is a man that will be willing to start some kind of a business with you king of cups okay comes out with the justice card with the seven of cups and the death card This man may be willing to go into something like spirituality, something like being a pastor. Um, I'm really getting pastor vibes from this King of Cups, Justice, Seven of Cups, the Death Card Energy. Spirit is really giving me, this is a man that could end up down the line. He could very well end up in the pool pit, okay? Will of Fortune, Ten of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. This man could end up, if not in the pulpit, he still will be working kind of like a chaplain or something like that. This man has that kind of heart or even a youth center. Um, either way, I see him being somebody that may speak a lot to people that have recently been imprisoned um, or, or high risk youth, youth that could end up in prison, people that could end up behind bars. Um, people that need help, people that need somebody to stand by their side in regards to guidance, okay? People that need spiritual guidance that may keep them out of jail, keep them from ending up in juvie, keep them from being arrested. Um, something to do with law enforcement that actually came out right back here, King Cups and Justice. This man may work very well with people who he wants to get away from moving into the, the wrong side of law enforcement, okay? Being on the wrong side of the law. Um, kind of counseling people in that. It may be something pastoral. He may also be somebody that himself has something to do with, with law enforcement, um, like a good cop, a cop that really believes in righteousness and justice and is out on the street trying to fight for those who need it, okay? Because this man has a high kind of spiritual astral calling energy to him. He really is uh, somebody that has a righteousness to him. We see this with the Seven of Cups, the Death card, the Will of Fortune, and then them being right on the other side of justice and King of Cups. So this man has compassion. He's a warm kind of energy, a warm divine masculine energy, okay? And he is being called into a righteous and just life, but not just for you, but also for whomever it is that he's to work with out here in these streets. I see him really being effective with the streets, with people that are high risk, okay? This is where he'll shine. It's kind of being, you know, a voice that can speak to people that often don't feel spoken to, okay? So that's what I'm hearing on that. So in regards to him having a business, this man could be looking for a first lady of his church. He could be looking for a woman who simply is comfortable with being married to a cop. Every woman is not. He could be looking for a woman that is willing to open a youth center of some kind with him. But this man is looking for support. And I want to tell you that the support that this man is looking for is very similar to like an armor bearer. You know, he's going to need someone to help him carry the spiritual load because this man is going to be carrying a spiritual load. That's why he's being blessed with a legacy, okay, with a 
real family, but also understand you will be called to also help him learn to build a family. Because as much as this man is good at going out in the world and being making a difference to like young people or being a good example or speaking to young guys who don't know what the hell they want to do or speaking even to a congregation if he decides to do so, this man just did not come up in a healthy family environment and he just does not have a clue okay how he would really make that happen in his life so that is where you would be somebody that would be a voice of reason for him but this man is looking for that he's also looking for a wife that is a strong thinker that can really think him through things talk him through things king of source and queen of source energy okay and help him be a better man this man is serious about being a good guy okay we see this coming up with the marriage energy queen of source and the sun this man is very adamant about picking a wife that is righteous okay he himself is righteous okay and even more than him being righteous he's being called into righteousness so this is his divine appointment so he's looking for someone that can stand beside him okay and kind of help him be in that divine appointment so he's looking for a divine feminine point blank period okay three of cups energy coming through the building okay three of cups energy so we see this three of cups energy coming through here and we see with this three of cups energy attached to this, remember, past life relationship. This relationship is a relationship that got halted, held back, stopped some kind of way. Three of cups, okay, in a past life. This is a relationship that did not come to pass in a past life, okay? We see this three of cups, cups. There was always a celebration that was supposed to be had. There was always goodness that was supposed to be had. There were always some beautiful things that were supposed to be had okay in this relationship but the truth of the matter is that that did not come to pass it's like it got halted it got stopped um in a past life and you two are getting to walk that through now okay why did this get halted in the past life ace of wands with the seven of wands in a past life, this man was so much more dedicated to his sexuality. And I'm actually getting more than this being a past life. You guys may not know, but y'all might have some ancestors um, or some elders that like way, way further back that attempted to date. This may not be the first. That's where the past life energy is coming from. This may not be the first time you two's bloodlines have tried to date. OK, sometimes we have family. You know, like say you're from a small town or a neighborhood that's very family orientated. You know how these things happen. You went to the same high school your mama went to. Your mama went to the same high school her mama went to. Well, there are also kids that are of that same fabric. And that's the type of energy that I'm getting. So maybe two or three generations back, your families tried to date. Maybe you are from a small town or you are from a place where everybody just kind of intermingles like that. This is not the first time that this divine appointment has tried to enter y'all's bloodline through each other's bloodline okay however this last one remember this man has had a lot of women however he's come to his senses and is listening to the call of God and realizing that you are what is right for him so he's deciding on you he's saying you know what no nah, this is it this is what I'm this is what I got to have this is what I'm supposed to have because he's answering the call however in the past girl okay Paul Paul or, or grandpa or whoever it was he did not answer the call girl other than the one that was his parents okay and he decided to go ahead and be out here in these here streets okay i don't know if they was roads back then girl i don't know what they were okay but he was out here in these cobblestone streets okay he was not interested in doing the right thing and stepping into that divine appointment so that kind of held back the value and security that actually would have come to y'all's bloodline you know generations down had he decided to step into this earlier because remember there is a lot of wealth on y'all's relationship finance and career and it's wealth built and made that secures y'all in righteousness okay that's where y'all legacy comes from family roam and finances and career marriage honeymoon they all come out together so y'all's legacy comes from doing righteous work and righteous work brings you covering okay so with that being said you know it didn't happen previously um you know the masculine in his family line just wasn't ready um, so it just didn't happen previously. Okay. But it's happening now and that's what we care about. Okay. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, we're looking here now towards reconciliation. Okay. So we see justice. 
and we see the Eight of Cups, okay? So with Justice in the Eight of Cups, we're really seeing somebody that as far as reconciliation, this is what's balanced and this is what's right, okay? We're going to clarify the Eight of Cups, but there's balance that can be brought to y'all's relationship through this reconciliation. Strong Libra energy, kind of taking things and pulling them into a study environment, like everything can level off and y'all can come into a Ten of Pentacles, okay? When we clarify the Eight of Cups, we see the Eight of Wands in the reverse, okay? So this isn't necessarily necessarily something that y'all would have to talk a lot about it kind of falls together okay clarify once again spirit it kind of falls together for you guys it kind of falls into balance you know sometimes there's like a million conversations that need to be had and people slowly move forward and then sometimes with reconciliations and reconnections it just falls in line it's like maybe there was one conversation that needs to be had and once that conversation is had, you know, at that point, y'all are kind of on y'all way. Okay, we see the Tower card energy with the Queen of Cups. Again, this man's heart is overflowing for you. There isn't a lot of conversation. This man already knows how he feels about you. He's already been struck by the love bug, if you will. He's already had that suddenly I'm feeling it vibe with you. And he loves you for your sweetness and softness see when there's a reconciliation and i don't know like y'all might be able to feel me on this a lot of times when, when you reconcile with a person like y'all were together then y'all weren't in time passes and y'all reconcile a lot of times you find hopefully anyway that and sometimes you don't but hopefully that the person has grown okay the person has grown into someone else they've grown into someone new they've grown into someone that is maybe um more mature or um you know smarter or calmer maybe they used to be a hothead now they didn't you know chilled out in this particular instance this man is coming back to you and what blew his socks off 150 percent this time is that you were soft there was a nurturing and a mothering energy to you that he just did not remember before this was the deciding factor for this man for of source like i said this is where this man decided to lay tight and was like you know i never met anybody else like you Okay, and this is where I want to be. So this is the point where this man decided that I think I found her. You understand me? He was like, this is it. This is what I want. Okay, um, this is what I mean. So it's a lot to understand here, underlined in terms of what this man found when he came back that helped him to say, oh, this is it. That's all. Okay, this man is sure, 150% sure now that you are the one and this is the direction that he wants to take okay now in regards to this man not really he doesn't really you know he's never really been in a big family setting okay we want to look a little deeper into that the magician in reverse and the fool okay and the eight of swords in the reverse and the high priestess you know, um, this is a situation that this man doesn't talk about much. He may have had, he did not, he definitely did, okay? Have an absentee, absentee um, father. We see the magician upside down. This is somebody that, you know, just kind of played a lot of tricks. This boy may have grown up as the type of boy that often felt like he was, you know, I'm sitting in the window, I'm waiting for dad to come back. It's just another one of his tricks he does. And oh, I'm gonna come on and pick you up this weekend. You know, he doesn't show up, okay? That type of energy. So we see this man, oftentimes he would spend money and different things like that on himself because he likes to feel good about himself. So underneath it all, this man, even having a lot of women, a lot of it had to do with this man struggling with low self-esteem. They came from having an absentee dad, okay? This man would sit there and say, you know, kind of making a fool of himself. I got to be the one at the party with the loudest clothes or the flyest clothes or I got on the most Balenciaga. I got, you know, he was taking that type of approach to his life. Because he really wanted to be someone that stood out, that was seen by everyone because he was never seen, you know, by his father, okay? Eight of Swords in reverse. And that's what made this man feel free and feel comfortable in his life. And this is something that's very much a secret that he has not really spoken with anyone about, okay? This is something that he kept inside. Um, he may have talked to his mother about it, but as far as his social life, friends, girlfriends, things like that. He's never told anyone these things, okay? These are things that are near and dear to his heart, but they play a role in how he could want a family because he wanted a family all the time. He wanted his dad in his life all the time. So that's nothing new. However, he didn't see a dad in action. He didn't see a dad coming home every day. He didn't see a dad putting his, his woman first, you know, putting the kids first, baseball games. He didn't see any of that. So there's this desire to have it. He always wanted it. 
but there's kind of a, I don't know how to do it. Okay. So that's just something to know that this man is dealing with. Okay. The chariot, the, the knight of cups in reverse. Okay. The two of wands in the reverse. And then we come through with the seven of swords in the reverse. Um, this man's passion and drive, his desire to have a family, okay, to be able to spend time with his daughters, to be able to spend time with his family, okay, making a family, spending time with them, okay, it is something that is very near and dear to him, so he doesn't really have any desire to be your boyfriend, Knight of Cups in reverse, this man isn't coming to be a boyfriend, he's coming to be, and we're seeing a lot of this the last couple of days, he's coming to be a husband or a life partner, he's not coming into your life to be you know, I'm just your boyfriend. I'm, no, he's not coming with that, okay? That's not what he's made plans for. We see the Knight of Cups in reverse, Two of Wands in reverse. He's also not coming to be dishonest or sneaking around. Seven of Swords in reverse, which is an excellent sign. He's not coming to be strategic or to play games. This man is coming in righteousness. And I, I know that it is because we saw it, y'all. God has really put his hand on him. And this man is coming into the, to the room with like, I know what I'm supposed to do, Okay. So that's on period. Um, what else might you want to know about this relationship? Because this is a very, this, this, this energy around this reading is very sturdy. Okay. This man, this isn't a man that's playing. Okay. I also see suburbia. This is a man that may want to move to suburbia. Okay. Um, we see King of Wands energy. This man is very passionate, baby. Okay. He needed all them women out there in them streets. Okay. He's doing his thing. So when he decides to come on in and bring it all home to one woman, all I'm going to say is get ready. Okay, King of Wands and Knight of Wands in the upright. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Nine of Pentacles. Um, you are what he wants and you are what he needs. Okay, tell me what you want from me. Okay, this man is all about you. Um, he's sexual, he's got a, a high sex drive. It, it, like I said, you know, get ready. Because he's going to bring it all towards you. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Please be advised this man's sex drive can be overwhelming at times. Okay. It can be something that leaves you kind of feeling, you know, kind of uh, in, in a in a kind of <laughs> exhausted, maybe even in a dreamlike state. Okay. Trying to understand how this all happened. What's going on. Like this man has got a monster sex drive. Okay. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Um, make sure you're talking to him about what you find fulfilling sexually. Do not just let it be all about him. Um, once you do tell him nine of cups in reverse, what fulfills you, this will relieve any grief or irritation you have about your sex life. Once he, once you tell him what you want, yeah, you might not mind his sex drive at all. Okay. Two of swords comes through in the reverse. Yeah, you won't. You're going to be with it. Okay. So you just want to teach him. Girl, you just want to teach him what you like, okay? Six of Wands comes through in the reverse, okay? Six of Wands in the reverse. Six of Swords in the reverse. King of Swords, okay? Four of Wands in the reverse. Do not allow this man to become so intellectual that he begins to stall y'all moving forward in the Four of Wands. Um, this man will start to feel like he may not have enough together. Six of Wands in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. This man will start to feel like, you know what, well, maybe it's not going to be enough harmony and, and happiness. And, and I got to get everything straight first. I got to be 150%. Um, he is not to say that he won't be or that he shouldn't be. I'm saying that King of Swords, he has a tendency to overthink these things. So he's the type of person that will overthink his way out of a good thing because he wants to be so righteous that... You know, it comes a point where you have to say, hey, you're prepared now. So in that way, you will kind of be his strength to kind of stop him from overthinking. OK, being somebody that literally will clean a clean pot. That's the type of energy I'm talking about. Y'all are ready. Y'all are settled. Everything's everything's prepared. But it's like, no, wait, no, don't let him do that. And it's a natural thing. OK, it's not a, it's not about you. This man is a bit of an overthinker. So just keep that in mind. OK, two of pentacles. He also struggles with indecision. Knight of pentacles. When it comes to money, this man is overthinks money. You know, this bill needs to be paid. But maybe if we do this, stop him. Not allow him to overthink because overthinking is his downfall many times. He needs to learn balance. Balance is so important to this man in his life. Okay. He needs to learn balance. When he learns balance and stops overthinking, being overly analytical, overly critical, when he stops doing these things, he's going to really get control of a lot of demonic energies and forces that have been trying to keep him from doing things because y'all know procrastination gets demonic at a point. 
People procrastinate their way out of opportunities, procrastinate their way out of jobs, procrastinate their way out of um, making new friends, businesses, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, do not allow procrastination to become something that eats away at him. He really needs help in that particular area, okay, where he's just a slave to procrastination, okay? He needs to keep moving. Five of Pentacles in reverse. He's going to get a new home. If he steps away from procrastination and becomes more comfortable with spending money, you and this man will get a new home. That family that family room energy will be inside of a new home. Okay, you can be sure of that because this man will be able to overcome those things that hold him back and he will have a better understanding of and way to allocate his money okay so make sure you stop him from talking himself out of things three of swords and in, in the upright judgment card comes through in the reverse church bells ring when the judgment card comes through the building you yourself will need to work on some healing okay work on healing if you do not work on healing this relationship will not quite manifest there are some things that need to be healed okay in regards to you and this relationship um, things that you may not have spoken to him about. We see the four of cups. You want to speak to him about. There may be things in the past of this relationship that you just have not quite shared with him. Share those things with him, okay, so that you two can move forward in the relationship. There was a time where this man's womanizing is the reason that y'all's relationship could not work or could not come to full fruition, okay? Tell him that you're still carrying wounds from Nine of Wands. Look at that. Tell him that you're still carrying wounds, Nine of Wands energy from those interactions so that you guys can move forward with a clean slate, period. Six of Cups comes through in the reverse. Y'all want to let go of past energy, anything that happened in y'all teens or when you was young or when you was kids. You want to talk your way through that and let that go. Knight of Swords energy. He may have also been a thug or something like that when y'all was young, girl. And you were somebody that was more secure, more put together, more stable. Queen of Pentacles energy. And there he was out here thugging, okay? This man may have even been somebody that was thugging to protect you at times. Page of Swords energy. But all of that needs to be left in the past. You may still have questions about him. Like, is he still thugging? Is he still this? Is he still that? You need to leave those things in the past. This man is in the emperor phase of his life now. This man has learned to take great control of his life. Okay, he understands what's next for him in his life. The emperor, the page of cups comes through in the reverse. He's not looking for childish love or childish things anymore. He's not even looking for a short term, like just beginning a family ten of cups. This man wants to run into a full ten of pentacles energy with you. Okay, eight of pentacles in reverse. Sometimes this man is not always the most focused and this could cause arguments between y'all just so you know eight of pentacles in reverse five of swords in the upright okay so make sure you just stay aware of that um but this man does intend to do his best and do his part places in this relationship where you would expect him to come up short he's not going to come up short okay he's also very generous okay he's very generous you guys may have arguing about like house chores things like that nothing major Okay, two of cups. Okay, so we do see that energy. Two of cups coming through. This man doesn't expect you to spend a lot of money. Ace of pentacles in reverse with the lovers. So this is a positive thing. Okay, the lovers with the hierophant in the reverse with the world in the reverse. Okay, you two may go a period of time, even with his procrastination that you're trying to stop. You two may go a period of time as a kind of non-traditional couple, whether y'all are legally married or not there is a period of non-traditional coupleship that happens y'all will be comfortable in this point for a while the world is in reverse okay it's 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 incomplete to everyone else but y'all will be comfortable in this space for a while because there's a lot of love there okay seven of pentacles energy don't start bringing up old shit because i promise you it will kill y'all's relationship and we see the death card in the reverse and y'all will constantly have to rebirth renew grow again Y'all's relationship could take some ugly hits if you can't let go of old shit. Like, you you have to let go of old shit or this will become a relationship that's full of bad cycles. In fact, that is why we're seeing this hierophant in reverse, the world in reverse, and then seeing the Seven of Pentacles death card in the reverse. Um, you guys may go through a period of this where you're kind of trying to hash out the old shit and it does halt y'all's relationship and it puts y'all in a breakup to makeup pattern where, you know, you hash up the old shit, 
then y'all have to start over again. Death card in reverse. Now we have to rebirth this, start over, talk through some different things. Now you hashing up old shit again. We break up. We got to come together, start over, do new things. But understand the higher perspective here, the high level perspective here is that this man does have a great future in front of him, one that is godly. Um, and it is one that he has chosen, which is so important. This is not a man that you have to influence to do things the right way. This is not a man you have to suggest to him that he do shit the right way. This man really wants to do things the right way. He's really going to do things the right way. And you will really have a positive experience with him. Um, being his, you know, wife, his armor bearer, his support, his, his uh, partner in his 10 of pentacles family. So... At the end of the day, this is a very positive man who is on a righteous path for God that is actually going to help, is going to help youth, is going to help the community, and he just needs someone to stand behind him. So this is definitely, beside him, this is definitely a divine feminine, divine masculine, okay, DMDF relationship, okay? If you have enjoyed this divine feminine tarot tea, okay, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to come to the and hit that bell if you want to be here every single time me and the t-team is up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages okay and as i always say girl if you just want to send a little cheese okay because y'all know i say feed the tarot reader y'all send me a little cheese a little something a little cheese a little something to put a little cheese on a little egg a little scrambled egg cheese something like that girl just a little something over to df tarot tea at cash app or paypal y'all know i love cheese and as always i will catch y'all in the next one